Sam Fauzi Ibrahim with the top stories on Al Jazeera. There have been celebrations in the United States and Afghanistan after a landmark prisoner swap. An American soldier held by the Taliban for nearly five years has been freed in exchange for five of its leaders being held at Guantanamo. They are now on their way to Qatar, which helped broker the deal. More from Hashim Ahabara. We do understand that there will be some restrictions of the movements of the five detainees for at least a year here in Qatar. But beyond that, we don't know whether they will be given a permanent uh, residence here in Qatar. Are we going to expect some sort of restrictions to continue beyond that? But also boosted by this prisoner swap, the Qataris are most likely to play a significant role in the future. You have two different aspects here. You have an Afghan Taliban reconciliation in the future, but you also have to take into account pinning down the details of a security uh, settlement with the Americans. A Sudanese government official has said the woman sentenced to death for abandoning Islam could soon be released. Miriam Ibrahim's case has caused an international outcry. She was also sentenced to a hundred lashes for marrying a Christian. She gave birth earlier this week while in custody. China has sent a clear response to the U.S. Defense Secretary, who accused it of destabilizing the South China Sea region. Chinese Lieutenant General Wang Guanzong told Chuck Hagel that his criticisms were groundless. The general also denounced Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's comments at the Asia Security Summit in Singapore. Abe had called on other countries to respect the rule of law. And you can find the latest in all those stories and much more at aljazeera.com.